This is Code.org, and this is Basketball Stats Tracker. I see code, I see an app, quip pow. All right, let's see here. And click. Nope. Ooh, it did something. Make. Ooh, it did something. Make. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so just miss. Hmm, bummer. That's sad. Uh, something's happening. What? This app is meant to help someone track some of the statistics associated with the basketball game. That would make sense. Some of the buttons are, are have already working code in them. Yeah, I would assume. And some don't. All right. Run the app and see how it works. Check. Read the code under the three-point button and mid-range button and decide which lines belong in a function. Ah, and keep in mind, guys, a function means repetitive code. Declare that function using a descriptive name. And, okay, so let me double check this down here. Uh, three point button and mid range. And so let's keep in mind how this is actually working. Let me, yep, I, I did reset it. If I hover over this, we see the ID is three points. So on the event that I click, that the three point button is clicked, this code has to run. Three point shot is set to true, which is a Boolean right here. And then we show, ah, we show all this stuff down here. Okay, now let's look at mid-range. Up, oh, same deal. I bet it's this one. Yep, and we show all the stuff. So a function is that block or that box or that container of code, and I just made a box with my hands that you can't see, which was useless, uh, that allows you to run repeated code without having to type or block it all out. So let's head over here. I'm going to throw a function down, eh, I guess here. And now what do I want to call it? Uh, there's no wrong answer as long as it makes sense. I'm going to say show all. Sure. Because that's what we're doing, these three. Now I'm going to grab these three. And, and now instead of having those three lines there, I can have show all elements. Bam. All right. And so now this will work the same because what's going to happen is when I click that button, the computer says, show all elements, what the heck is that? Oh, it's this, smack. And it runs that identical code and then returns back up here. So this works I the same. Now, here we are. I can get rid of these because I can just use this. Right here. And now I don't need those because it will do the same thing. Now, I think they have a spot for us to be real clean and tidy here. Quapow. Cool. All right. Now, the next part whoop, is... Read make button and miss button and decide which lines belong in their own function. All righty. Let's go up there. Here's my make button and my miss button. Let's see. The if statements look pretty different, although these are used both up here and here, just in different order, it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. I noticed a few things that stand out right away. So let me throw down a function. Here, definitely not. I guess here. That way. Yep. Okay. And so these hide elements, notice they're the same throughout. Now, another thing I've noticed is these two. These two function calls are also the same. So there's a few ways to approach this. I think I'm going to do them separately. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to pull these down. And I had a, what did I call it? Show all elements. I'll do hide all elements. I could say hide UI. I could say hide buttons and info. Whatever you want to name this, that is correct. Just make sure it's descriptive or don't display anything. All right. So that works. And now I could do this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I want to keep it the same order, and it was down here. Bam, and there we are. Now, guys, also, if I wanted to, notice update points, and update points is up here. There could be a way that I could combine these and get rid of all of that. I'm actually going to break those out into a separate method later, but just pointing that out. All right, so now I can get rid of all of these as well, because I have my handy-dandy function. Bam, hide all elements, hide all elements is what I am mine. I'm going to pull this all the way down. And now I think we're going to need to make sure 
Run the command. Yep, we need to make sure to use our function calls where necessary. So we have these functions. Keep in mind, guys, there's more than one two-point shot. We only have this mid-range one done, but there's these two and this. So now we don't have to write all of those lines to show the options, to show the buttons. We can use our method. So I'm just going to put it, I'm going to call it here and here and here. Those are all two pointers, so they are going to be the same. Now, the three point shot's a bit different. We do want to call this, but notice what's before it. We need to set the Boolean three point shot to true. And if you're wondering, by the way, how that works, when we click on the three point shot, that's set to true. And then when we make it right here, it's set to false. And that way, this is always going to be false because if they, unless they click on three points. So if they click on any of the two points, three points false, and this stuff would run instead. That being said, bam. And then the last thing I want to do is a bit of cleanup. Look for other places we could add a function. I notice a few right off the bat. For instance, this and this are both used here out of order and here. That could be a function. It's repeating. We could also do something like I pointed out before. These two are used in twice. And maybe I'll call this update everything. I don't know. Update all. Sure. And now I'm going to get rid of these two up here, right? Because now I can use my method. Oh. Cool. Fancy. Let's give all of that. <laughs> Let's give all of that a try. Make it. Yeah. I'm so good. <laughs> hey, pretty uh, cool. Onward.